This is what is left of 15-year-old Pratima Silwal's house, now a mountain of rubble. But Pratima knows she and her family were the lucky ones. I feel so good because we are safe from earthquake. My house is damaged, but I'm safe. Our family is safe. That's all. Most of the houses in Kavri village are damaged or have been deemed unsafe to live in. But life goes on here. Villagers are thankful for surviving and marking Buddha's birthday. The majority of affected villages have not been accessed yet. Local aid is taking time to arrive. The gift of the giver's doctors have come to Kavri village in the Lele Valley, about 60 kilometers outside of Kathmandu. These villagers don't have serious injuries due to the quake, but they are in great need of primary health care and hope. Many here are suffering from post-traumatic stress and minor disorders. Uh, there's nothing acute about the patients as we've seen here. They've all got the usual uh, accent pains, muscular pains. It's the odd one you'll have which has an infection, a chest infection or a bladder infection. But on the whole, I think they just need assurance that they're okay, that uh, you know, a little bit of medication that we're giving them is going to see them through. So I think we are providing a very, very important service here. The earthquake and all that, you know, the guys are like quite desperate and all that. So for them to see a team from South Africa all the way from Africa, you know, it's like a thousand miles away to come and just give basic uh, stuff like primary health care and all that, it definitely means a lot to them. The day marking Buddha's birthday was meant to be a day of celebration. Instead, these people are thankful they survived and had doctors from South Africa come to their aid. Julie Shara, CCTV, Kavri Village, Nepal.